So we're just on our way back into Harrogate. Today is the women's junior road race and the men's under 23 road race. Jake actually knows a few people in the men's under 23 road race, so maybe we'll get some behind the scenes interviews. Probably not, because they're all gonna on. be bricking it. It's no, no, afterwards. Day. Yeah, don't. No, yeah. not before. <laughs> Plus it doesn't start here, it starts in somewhere else. I don't know where. Anyway, we're gonna go to the Starling Cafe again, get some coffee and lunch, and then I fancy the fan zone before going and watching the end of the races. So, another day in Yorkshire. Here we go. Boop. The fan zone's over there. The race finish is over there, and we're gonna go over this way. So we've just found a place to park. We're on our way walking to the fan zone now to have a little look around. I've no idea what race is on at the minute. There's, I can just hear the commentator guy. He said something about Great Britain, so I guess that's good. Co-founder yeah. is your official title yes. and marketing amazing lady. Exactly. At Hexa. <laughs> Can I get my hair scan please? Yeah. <laughs> so we're at the Hexa stand at the minute. Hexa are actually kind enough to be making me a custom helmet and I'm actually getting a custom design on it, which is really, really cool. Um, you might have noticed that I've now gained a rain cape. Pretty, pretty good, huh? So we're just on our way to get some lunch. We've had a look around the fan zone. Although I have to say it's a little bit muddy. <laughs> So currently just watching the under 23 men's race, just heard that Valverde and Matthew van der Poel will be here later, so as much as I would love to watch the under 23 men's finish, I'm going to skip it to try and get a chance to maybe get a video with either Valverde or van der Poel. Hi guys! <laughs> Have you had any tea yet, Matthew? No. No? Tea? Yorkshire tea? No. It's like a special traditional drink no, from England. Good. You'll have to try some, maybe. Yeah, but maybe after the world. <laughs> yeah, maybe on Monday. Oh, I'm more of a coffee man. Oh. oh. But you can stop with Diego, he likes tea. Good. Yeah, I like tea. Oh, oh. I drink a lot good. Of tea. How do you have your tea? Do you have it with milk or no milk? With milk? Tea with milk? Yeah, in yeah, England, you have it with milk. Hey, he's in the house! Woo! Our absolute honour to have him here tonight. And we've got Mark Soler and we also have Niels Pollitt. So, if you could form an orderly queue on the right-hand side of the room, come up and meet these guys, and then filter out on the left-hand side, we will operate slightly better than Harrogate's traffic system tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a proper stampede. <laughs> Give him a round of applause, guys. And give him some room as he goes. 
Proper. Proper. Hey guys, if you don't win, I'm taking it off. Up on the front table, the people need them. Awesome. That lift, for a new zip them up for it. I think the, the um, Dutch guy, when he crashed, he got motor pace back on. Like, he literally won, so you were leaving it. Like, he won fair and square, he bridged over to him, and it was a fair, fair race. So, so the Dutch guy didn't win? No, he was motor no. oh. The under 23 race is over, quite a controversial finish. I'm sure you all have seen it by the time this video goes out. Met Van der Poel today, also met Niels Pollitt and Mike Soler, very, very cool. And Jake is gonna get his hair cut. <laughs> I don't know why. You wrecked my hair when you tried cutting. I actually tried to give Jake a haircut, but it didn't really work. But luckily, Alperson have brought their own barber. So uh, Jake's gonna get the proper professional barber treatment. Pantene guy is back. <laughs> Dave's getting a fresh trim. Sponsored athlete. I wish. Sign me up. Whereas Dave's gonna get some sweet cornrows. Yeah. Mary, you're not a professional hair person. I did when I was 10, I had my own company. I'm doing this. This is not a joke. So I gave women, I did a really good selling. I said three times and then they get a discount. Oh. And I, uh, I had one woman who was really dirty and I came to her house. And I was like, fuck, so I gave her the money back and stopped the business. Oh! My father is still sad. Oh. <laughs> to be fair, that's pretty, pretty solid cornrows. No. Marit has finished her... Monstrosity. I would say it looks pretty... Yeah, styles. I think it's really... Like... What's your new rap name? I haven't got that far. I'm, I'm still not... Con like, MC Dave. <laughs> Snoopy who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. MC I Dave. Say Snoopy Who. Oh, oh wow. Snoopy <laughs> Dog. Oh wow, Snoopy Dog. <laughs> Snoopy Dog. <laughs> Snoopy Dog. <laughs> Snoopy Who. Let me tell you another story then, because my very, very first ever cycle ride out of British roads uh, was uh, I got the train to Namur in Belgium. And I got out, and when I avoid being killed because I looked the wrong way when I came out the railway station, <laughs> never been in Europe in my life, and then got on my bike, I rode to Cloven Coblenz and Trier. Trier? Yeah. Cool. yeah. And down the Moselle. Yeah, the Moselle. Well, why did it take you 50 years to get me a bloody canyon? I can't wait. <laughs> Dear me. I had something similar when I was in year six. <laughs> 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 Feeling your new haircut? Yeah, way better. <laughs> better than the dead trim you gave me. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm not really a qualified hairdresser, just a disclaimer. Um, we've had a very exciting day, mainly for Jake, because he's had a haircut, obviously. But I, I was quite excited because there was a really exciting bike race on. Have I said excited enough? I don't think I have. Look who we found. It's only Calvert Churchill. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go get some <laughs> We've just finished getting food. It's been a very exciting day. Gonna round out the vlog here. Keep risking it for a biscuit as always. And I'll see you tomorrow.